Telecom has invested in improvements to the property, including installing a new perimeter fence and removing unauthorized occupants to ensure its security and proper management. In an effort to collaborate with the University of Technology, Telecom initiated discussions to explore ways the college could be used to expand Unitech's educational facilities. Two meetings between both parties took place in August and November 2023, resulting in the drafting of agreements, including a lease agreement, training agreement, and commercial agreement. However, negotiations stalled due to unresolved terms in the lease agreement. To offer additional assurance, Telecom extended a first sight right of refusal to Unitech giving the university the option to purchase the college at a discounted price in the future. Despite this offer, Unitech's governing council could not resolve the remaining issues, thus the discussions ultimately failed to reach a conclusion. Further complicating matters, Telecom became aware that Unitech had reportedly secured public funding for the redevelopment of the college without informing or consulting Telecom. The company made repeated requests for transparency about this funding, but Unitech did not provide the necessary disclosure, raising concerns about the alignment of their actions with Telecom's commitment to transparency and collaboration. With negotiations stalled and no resolution in sight, Telecom has decided to sell the college through a public tender with the condition that only nationally owned companies or PNG citizens can purchase the property. The proceeds from the sale will be reinvested into critical projects to upgrade Telecom's mobile network and other technologies. While Telecom remains open to future collaborations, the company emphasized that it must prioritize decisions that best serve its long-term operational and financial objectives. Samantha Solomon, National MTV News.